Hi everybody, this is Rob Buchanan from Philly and Oyster Project. A lot of you know that we are trying to restore oysters to New York Harbor by working with groups and with students all across the city. You may not know that we are also interested in putting people on the water, getting them out there in boats. And for the last couple of years, we've actually built boats with students, middle school students, in a part of Brooklyn called Sunset Park. This year, obviously, we're not going to be able to do that. But what we can do is build models. And so today, my daughter Claire is going to show you how to do that. Hi, my name's Claire, and today you're going to learn how to make a mini model of the Brooklyn Oyster Dory with this printout and with three other things. Um, some scotch tape or some clear tape, a pair of scissors, and um, also some colored tape, which could be helpful. You don't necessarily need it, but yeah. Step number one is to cut out the dory bottom, which is that large piece. This one? Right in the middle, that one. Now the next step is to cut out the transom. That's that small piece that looks like an hourglass. to tape the transom to the stern of the dory, the aft end, the back end of the dory. So you're gonna... Basically go like this, right? Yep. Yeah. Cut out all of the frames, which will be taped to the bottom of the dory. So a boat is like a body in some ways, and the dory bottom is like the spine, and the frames are like the ribs. So we've got the spine, the backbone, and the ribs on, and now the last step is to attach the skin, or the planks. Let's so cut out the two bottom planks, one for each side of the boat. This says starboard, that's the right side of the boat, and the other one says port, that's the left side. Okay, a good trick for attaching the first plank and all the planks is to line up the dotted line in the middle with the center frame. So push it right in next to the boat, yes, like that. One piece of tape right straight across. That's good. Okay, now we've got the planks attached amidships and we're gonna bring the ends of the planks together and tape them up. So let's start at the bow up here and fold them up a little bit and tape those two ends together. It's hard. Okay, so now we've got the bow and the stern taped together. There is a little gap there, but we'll cover that with tape later, so let's not worry about that. Next step is to cut out the middle planks on both sides. Okay, lining it up and attaching with tape on the outside, that's a good play. Taping the bow together. Now the stern, taping right over the transom. Let's see. Starting to look like a boat. Lining them up on the dotted line, good. Turning the boat over, putting the tape on the outside, nice. Okay, so now the boat is done, but there's a lot of gaps between the planks. If we put it in the water, it would sink. And so one thing you can do is cover those gaps from the outside with some tape, maybe some colored tape, just so that it looks like the boat doesn't have those holes in it anymore. Okay, covering up some more of those gaps. All right, let's see. Here's the finished boat. Do you guys um, think it's gonna float or what? 